And welcome back, everybody. It's the 2015-16 Big Sky Basketball Media Day. Obviously, it kicks off the season-long road to Reno. It'll culminate in the Big Sky Basketball Championships being held here in March of 2016. Our final set of coaches today, last but never least, the Portland State <laughs> Vikings. we got head coach of the men's team, Tyler Gething, head coach of the women's team, Lynn Kennedy. Uh, first off, fellas, great to sit down with you for just a few minutes here. Appreciate you making a few moments. Um, Tyler, we'll start with you. What are some benefits that you see to having a neutral site conference tourney in a destination city like Reno? Well, I think the main thing, it's it's good for the fans. You know, it's uh, you can start planning in advance of – where we're going to be in March as opposed to four or five days before the tournament starts. So, you know, I think it's, you know, uh, you know, two or three years from now, I think this thing's going to continue to grow and uh, be a great event and a great event for our league and uh, excited to be a part of it. Yeah. Lynn, what would you have to say? Yeah, I mean, for our team too, especially this year, being a young, inexperienced team, just to have that playoff experience to help us in the future. And it gives us something to play for too. I mean, I think that's going to be something we're looking for every day. We're just going to ask them to compete and uh, get ready for this tournament and hopefully be playing our best basketball at the end. Lynn, I want to ask you, because you're obviously, this is going to be your first season yeah. as the head coach of Portland State. What is the first few months, I mean, the first eight, nine months been like as you try and, it's not even been eight, nine months. But it's been a blur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blur, yeah. yeah. How, do you, how, do you, how do you handle yourself in that time of trying to get established, start building a program? Well, coming in, just identifying the players we had, the returners, and where we needed to be. We had to sign seven players in a month and a half so we could feel the team this year. Yeah. But I think, you know, we have great kids coming back. Um, they're hungry to win. They're, they're anxious to get, you know, on the court and, and to, to get better. So I think that's what we look for in those first few months, to put a staff together that can bring us together and have that chemistry that we need early on in the season and then just get better each and every day. And, you know, like I said before, hopefully we're playing our best basketball in Reno. And that's the idea. No doubt about that. We, yeah. hope, we, we, we hope you are as well. Uh, Tyler, 15-14 and 14 last year, 9-9 nine and nine in Big Sky Conference play. Um, you do lose three of your top scores, but what did last season, what are some of the emotions that you took from last season? Well, I think if more than anything, being in the league uh, 10 years, this yeah. league is very competitive. Yeah. <laughs> 1 through 12. And I think that's the other great thing about the tournament now. You know, some of these teams that are, you know, finishing ninth, 10th, 11th have a chance to get here and, and win the tournament. But, you know, more than anything, I think our league's really competitive. Um, uh, you know, you can't take a night off. You've got to be ready to go. And I think, once again, I think this year we, we've got to be ready to go every single night and, and be ready to compete. There's no doubt about that. It's interesting. Um, as we kind of establish this, this conference tournament in Reno, you get a chance to really the, 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 the week is going to have a better form to kind of platform itself and kind of put itself out there. Another great way to do that, obviously, in basketball for teams is the non-conference schedule, a way to kind of travel around, see some different things. Um, I, I find this personally interesting. How do you both view non-conference play? There's some coaches who view it as, you know, we're just looking to improve, we want to win, but if we don't, it's okay. How, how do you both view that? Tyler, we'll start with you. Uh, winning's nice. I like yeah, to, I like yeah. to win a lot of those games. But no, at the end of the day, I, I think I look at it. I mean, you know, no matter what your record is, I think are you playing good basketball yeah. heading into January and where you're at heading into league play? Do you kind of establish your rotations? Who's your uh, define the roles a little bit of your team? And I think that's kind of what preseason is for me. Um, you know, we've had some years where we've had winning records in preseason, and maybe didn't think we were playing very well. And I've been on the other end of it where you know, whatever, we're five and seven or something to that effect and go, you know what, we're actually not playing that bad. We've just played some difficult teams. So I, I think it's more just trying to find out where you are uh, heading into January. Yeah. Well, yeah, same. I mean, I think for us, we want to play the best basketball teams to compare ourselves where we are at. Yeah. Um, sometimes in the preseason, a lot of teams just look for wins, but at the same time, you've got to get better. So we want to play the best teams have those opportunities to improve, compete at the highest level, and get us ready for a you know a tournament in the postseason as well. So, I think you know getting better at each and every day. Uh, if we can improve that, compete at the highest level, play the best teams, that will help us going into the conference. Awesome. This is a question we've asked. I I think it's kind of a fun question. Um, coaching is such an intense profession. There's so much work that goes into it. It's a lot of fun, but there's a lot of time that it takes to to prepare yourself to be a top level team. What do you both like to do? 
in those rare moments that you can get away from basketball? What are some off the court hobbies, some things you like to do? Lynn, we'll start with you. Well, I think uh, spending time with family. Yeah. You know, I got two boys that keep me busy, senior in high school and eighth grade. So football, soccer, baseball, tennis, what yeah. you can name it, we've got it going on. Soccer, it's like every night something's going on. So, it, you know, during those off times, try to spend it with family. Uh, try to get away for a weekend to the coast or something like that. But uh, if you do that, you can get back in the office and get back after it. So I think it's good just to get away from it, you know, once in a while. Absolutely. Yeah. Pretty similar. Yeah, yeah. We, we have two boys as well, five and four. So actually coached, uh, assistant coach for T-ball this year. Okay. So I was, you know, didn't want to be the head coach. <laughs> I didn't need that pressure. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh now, just being around my kids and my family, as you said, we're gone so much that any time you get a chance to spend time with them, it's, it, it's fun. So how did you enjoy uh, going back to an assistant coaching role? It was great. I loved it. Slept a little bit better at night and uh, didn't have to deal with the parents or the phone calls. So <laughs> it was great. I really enjoyed it a lot. Awesome. <laughs> gotta love those types of, those, those of stories. Um, last question, and then we'll let you both go. Um, Obviously, you said there's an incentive for fans to travel to Reno come March. Um, but what are the message to your fan bases is, again, we're about a month away from starting the season? Well, you know, I, I think for our fans, I think we're, we're going to put an exciting team out there. I think we have a lot of talent and um, going to try and play an up-tempo style like we have over the last few years. And, um, you know, I just think night in and night out our kids are going to compete. I like our I like the makeup of our group. I like our attitudes. I like our effort. So I think it's going to be more of a team, hopefully, this year. And uh, really looking forward to it. Yeah, for us, just a new start. I think it's a fresh start for you know our players that are coming back, and then the new players we have. We have an exciting team, uh, up tempo style. You know, our teams have averaged close to 89 points a game yeah. in the past that I've coached. So it's going to be a lot different than what the Portland State community is used to. But it's going to be exciting intense defense and we're going to work hard. I mean, I think that, you know, like Tyler said, if we can compete at the highest level every night, um, it's great to come and watch and wins are going to come. So, you know, like we said before, just getting bit better each and every day and, and getting ready for that postseason tournament here in Reno. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you both in March. But, gentlemen, best great. of luck this season. Thank Hope you. Thank you. Catch up Thanks. with you a little bit over the season. But we'll, we will see you here in March. Yep. Great. Sounds great. good. Great. All right. That's going to conclude the 2015-16 Big Sky Basketball Media Day. We want to thank our production crew. We also thank all of the institution's coaches, athletic directors, and most importantly, sports information directors for making this happen. Mm -hmm. Remember to go to BigSkyConf.com for more coverage of the events happening around this basketball kickoff in Reno. You can also go to the Big Sky Conference website to get information on the tournament as well. For all of us with the Big Sky Conference, I'm John Oglesby saying goodbye, everybody. <laughs>